Also, consider that many ships have been lost during bad weather, which can push a ship way off its intended course. Now you can start to understand how uh, hard it must be to locate a sunken ship. Yes, Mary? Okay, what is this part about the difficulty in finding a, a marine archae archaeology uh, spots, all right? Why is it difficult? Because as for like shipwrecks, right? A ship would be nothing but a, a small dot compared to the whole ocean, okay? So, um, he's talking about the difficulty. The prim primary difficulty in marine archaeology is locating the site. The primary, what does that mean, primary? It means a uh, very important, most important. In marine archaeology is locating the site. What does that mean, locate? Locate means to uh, find out a, uh, a site. Find the, find the place, all right? The site, what's a site? Site is a place where something happened. For example, think about shipwrecks. The world's oceans and waterways are vast. Oceans and waterways, what's a waterway? Waterways are canals or um, rivers or narrow um, channels of seas where the ships uh, um, go along. Do you understand? Waterways are vast. What does vast mean? Vast means extremely large. So even the biggest ships that have sunk are but small dots on the ocean floor. Are, uh, even the biggest ships that have sunk are but small dots. What does that mean? Are but. Are but means are only small dots on the ocean floor. What is a dot? Dot is a small round mark, all right? Many ships sank during times when there were no radios, computerized navigation systems, or methods to judge a ship's precise location. Where there were no radios, computerized navigation systems, computerized... What does that mean? Computerized means, if you have I-Z-E like this, it means make it into this, all right? Computerized means make something, uh, arrange something to be uh, um, to be done by a computer. Arrange the work of something to be done by a computer. You understand? Navigation systems. What is navigation? Navigate means to um, uh, decide or find the direction and following it, steering the ship to that direction would be navigation. Systems. What's a system? System is a set of things following the same rules or having a single purpose. And um, in this case, it would be a, a set of device which has a purpose or a function. Or methods to judge a ship's precise location. Judge a ship's precise location. What does judge mean? Judge means to decide, all right? A ship's precise location. What does precise mean? Precise means uh, the exact, right? Also, consider that many ships have been lost during bad weather, which can push a ship away, push a ship way off its intended course. <coughs> also, consider that. What does consider mean? Think. Think that. Many ships have, have been lost during bad weather, which can push a ship way off its intended course. Uh, push a ship way off. What does that mean? Way off. Way off means uh, a lot far from, right? A lot far. Way means far. Off means what? Uh, it has the meaning of detaching. No, no longer touching it any. Uh, touching it. All right. Way off its intended course. What does intend mean? Intend means to uh, decide <coughs> or plan what to do. Intended course. What is a course? Course is like uh, the path it follows, all right? Now you can start to understand how hard it must be to locate a sunken ship. Yes, Mary. A sunken ship. Sunken is the word uh, pa past participle of word sink. Sink means what? Go underwater. Completely go underwater. 
Let's go to the next uh, part. Yes, Mary? Then how do marine archaeologists find sites or shipwrecks to excavate? It's an involved process. First, they do their homework. Sound familiar? <laughs> they might comb through archives looking for accounts of sunken ships from survivors. For wrecks in more modern times, insurance companies frequently have detailed records since ship owners and deceased passengers' families often make claims for losses. Then the archaeologists try to pinpoint the sunken vessel's exact location. This is almost always impossible, but they can at least come up with a general idea of where the ship went down. After that, it's time to find the ship. Nowadays, many archaeologists use a device called a towed side-scanning sonar. It gets towed behind a research ship that follows precise paths across the area where the ship is believed to be. The device takes sonar images of the sea floor. Any unusual uh, anomalies, shall we say, get investigated. How do they... Okay, what is this uh, part about? The student asks what? How do marine archaeologists find sites or shipwrecks? Okay, so um, what did the uh, professor say? Uh, first, they look for information in the, in the archives or uh, the left records uh, by the insurance companies to find the... to guess the location. Okay? But this is not very hot, uh, easy to um, get the exact location, okay? So after guessing that location, what do they do? They use a device, side scanning sonar, and um, uh, they take images uh, and they try to find the uh, site. Then, how do marine archaeologists find sites or shipwrecks to excavate? It's an involved process. It's an involved process. What does that mean, involved process? It means it, it involves a, a lot of things, so it's complicated. Involved process. Involved means to uh, make something take part in it. What's a process? Process is a set of um, activities to achieve a certain result, okay? First, they do their homework. Sound familiar? First, they do their homework. What, what, the, what would this mean? They do their um, uh, research, studies. Sound familiar? What does that mean? Sound familiar? What, what does familiar mean? It means you can recognize something or you know, uh, you know about that. They might comb through archives looking for accounts of sunken ships from survivors. They might comb through. What does comb mean? Comb is a flat piece of um, plastic or metal which has, which has um, narrow teeth, narrow pointed teeth with which you um, tidy your hair, all right? So it, comb through something means to uh, look everywhere for it, okay? Comb through archives. What's an archive? Archives are the documents or records of historical information. Do you understand? Or the place where they have that collection. Archive is a collection of documents or re records uh, of uh, historical um, information, all right? Looking for accounts of sunken ships. What is an account? Account is a written uh, report, okay? Or written or spoken report of something. Of sunken ships from survivors. What's a survivor? What does survive mean? Survive means to uh, manage to live and not die, okay? Sir means uh, top, and vibe means to live, okay? So it means like they survived, uh, they lived through a difficulty. For wrecks in, modern, in more modern times, insurance companies frequently have a detailed records since ship owners and deceased passengers' families often make claims for losses. For wrecks in more modern times, what does modern mean? 
Modern means uh, relating to present time. Insurance companies, what is an insurance? Insurance with, is an arrangement with a company that you pay money regularly and if any accident or an unpleasant thing happens, the company pays the uh, agreed amount to you, which would be you getting very ill or um, your uh, property getting stolen or damaged, all right? Frequently have the detailed records. Frequently, what does that mean? Often. Often have detailed records. What does that mean, detailed records? What does detailed mean? Detailed means having a lot of details. What is a detail? Detail is a small information, a small part of something. Detailed records. What is a record? Record is a written account or what? Or something that is taped. Okay, so you can refer to it later. Since ship owners and deceased passengers' families often make claims for losses. Since, what does that mean? Since means because, because uh, the families, of the passengers' families. Ship owners and deceased passengers, deceased, what does that mean? Deceased is a formal form of die, all right? Dead passengers, what's a passenger? Passenger is a person who is traveling in a plane or a bus or a train and who's not driving it nor working on it, all right? Often make claims, make claims. What is a claim? Claim is a demand for a thing that you think you have the right to. Do you understand? Claims for losses. What is loss? Loss is no longer having something or having less of that thing um, than before. Then the archaeologists try to pinpoint the sunken vessel's exact location. The archaeologists try to pinpoint. What does that mean? Pinpoint means to find the exact location, exact place. You like point it with a pin, okay? The sunken vessels. What's a vessel? Vessel is a large boat or a ship. Exact location. This is almost always impossible. Okay? But they can at least come up with a general idea of where the ship went down. They can at least... What does that mean, at least? At least means um, the minimum that is true or possible. Okay? The minimum that they get is they can come up with... What does that mean, come up with? Come up with means uh, think of an idea, or come up with a, or think of a solution of a problem. A general idea, what does that mean, general? General means um, talking about the whole of something, uh, less, less concerned with the details, okay? Just uh, talking about something as a whole of After that, it's time to find the ship. Nowadays, many archaeologists use a device called a towed side scanning sonar. Nowadays, what does that mean? Nowadays means uh, related to present time. Many archaeologists use a device. What is a device? Device is a thing that you make uh, for a certain purpose. Something that does a work. You understand? Like measuring or recording things called the towed side scanning sonar. Towed, what does tow mean? Tow means you, if a vehicle tows another, that means um, it pulls uh, the other vehicle along behind it. You understand? Towing, 